Hi, I'm Shannon with the Shannon Jones team at Keller Williams Realty. In today's Home Buying 101 episode, we're talking about three unexpected financial surprises you want to avoid as a new homeowner. The first one is unexpected repair expenses. So if you're a renter, you have a landlord you can call if something goes wrong. Once you own the home, there's no landlord to call. So if your pipes back up or your faucet breaks, you're responsible. One thing that you may want to do is look into having a home warranty plan at least in year one. What that does is it covers a lot of the things that could go wrong and instead of needing to pay for the whole expense, you have a service charge. These are gonna range anywhere from about $400 to $700. And sometimes as a home buyer, you can actually negotiate to have the seller pay for that for you in year one. So definitely ask your agent about that. The number two surprise that you want to avoid is unexpected costs associated with owning the home. So these are things like um, utilities, if this is a larger space than you're used to. Um, extra gas, if it's a longer commute than you're used to. Uh, things like um, maintenance of the yard, are you planning to hire a gardener? Is there a pool? If you're buying a condo, have you factored in the HOA dues? So really look at what your overall expenses are going to be in the home and when you're planning your budget, make sure that you're factoring those in along with the mortgage payment. And the number three unexpected surprise that sometimes homeowners don't plan on is supplemental taxes. So when you buy a home, the county will actually reassess it. And if that value goes up, and this also happens if you add on to your home or you make improvements like adding square footage or a pool, that kind of thing, um, the county will reassess the value and then they'll send you an extra bill, an extra tax bill, supplemental tax bill. And if you have your taxes paid through an impound account, so you're paying it as part of your mortgage every month, when you usually get your tax bill, it says that it's just a copy because your mortgage company is actually paying that for you through the escrow account. That's not true with a supplemental tax bill. So if you get one of those, don't ignore it and definitely look into whether or not that's something that you may encounter. Surprises are never good and planning ahead can help take the sting out of those surprises. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you have any questions.